Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, we're investigating our first OP vehicle in FH5. Over the past little while, you might have heard me refer to some cars as being OP in this game. Those vehicles are some of the fastest cars in FH5, and today... I wanted to check out an old favorite of mine. If you scroll through some of the A-Class leaderboards, you'll notice one of our favorite vehicles, the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. Back in Forza Horizon 4, the Bone Shaker was unbelievably OP. So OP, in fact, the developers actually banned it from partaking in online ranked races. The Bone Shaker is back, but not the way you'd expect it to be. I drive Bone Shaker because I can't drive. <laughs> In FH4, the Bone Shaker was super, super fast on-road. In FH5, though, it's super, super fast off-road. This is the tune that we're going to be running. It's made by Rock LXD, who is one of our favorite tuners in FH4. He's made this one. It's A-Class Dirt Racing V1.1. 180 miles an hour, 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. It's all-wheel drive with off-road tires and rally suspension. I think you can now see why the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker has so much grip. Those tires are just ridiculous how big they are. Why don't we try out this race circuit, Rock LXD, set him as our rival. Let's see if you're actually as good as I think you are. Obviously, we're gonna need to get onto a flying lap, learn the way the car drives, learn the circuit and all sorts of stuff like that. Can I just say this is a ridiculous looking vehicle though? Those rear tires are just so absurd. It's not even funny. And then when you actually get into the corners and you can see the super skinny fronts, it just, it's so weird looking. In we go. There is Rock LXD. He's the guy who made this tune. He's a really, really quick driver as well. Let's see if we can get somewhere up on the leaderboard. Rock LXD is absolutely sending it through the corners. That man like rips the handbrake and really initiates in the air. It's like he's jump drifting every single quarter, which is just insane. And then as quickly as you enter the town, you then leave the town and then short line it to the finish. Already in three laps, I'm improving. I'm already down to a one minute, eight seconds. Obviously, there's still a ton of room for improvement. If I'm gonna learn how to drive this thing properly, why don't we take our bone shaker online? That's gonna teach us one, how to drive this thing on a bunch of circuits. I can go head to head with some other people and overall just get some more experience in the car and be able to set some quicker time. I love how the game's starting me in last place as well. I've got two other bone shakers in here. Here we go, Hot Wheels bone shaker. Let's see if this thing really is as good as we think it is. So, I mean, right out of the gates, we're already faster than some of the AI. AI? Those are real people. That's rude to call them AI. So we've, we've already gone from last to third, and I'm about to get Jean-Pierre here as well. Oh my God, the grip. The grip in any other car. I would have been off right there. Oh my God, look at the speed. Look at the speed difference up the inside of Jean-Pierre. Jean-Pierre gets off the brakes a little bit later. I pull an F1 inspired move. Try to run him out of road. There we go. There we go. Up the inside, Bone Shaker P2 following another Bone Shaker. Now it's a battle of who's the better Bone Shaker driver. Let's see if I can gain. Whoa, hello. Lewis Hamilton must be driving behind me. I didn't know that. Bone shaker, catch up to the other bone shaker, please. Whoa, that's a big jump. The grip is just unreal. Like, why do I even need a braking line? It's just a suggestion. What is going on? How is it so, uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. You know your car is OP when you can miss a checkpoint rewind, and there's still nobody behind me. It's actually just rude. If it wasn't for my slight mess up in the middle of that racetrack, we would have done even better. The bone shaker that came first was 20 seconds faster than the next fastest car. We DNF some of the guys in last. 
Oh boy. The game decided to be way nicer to me this time. I'm not starting in dead last, starting in third. Let's go. Hot Wheels Bone Shaker race number. Um. Huh? That thing's fast. Way faster than I thought it would be. Anyways, we've got three laps of this circuit. So let's go, Bone Shaker. We are going to need to absolutely rip this thing. So I'm already up to first place, running from everybody behind. I think it's a bone shaker behind me in P2. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've ever driven this racetrack before. So bear with me. If I look behind, I can see another bone shaker, but that's it. And that's the end of lap number one. All right, keep going. We're going to keep doing even better out here. These off-road tires are just so unfair. It's ridiculous. I'm trying to learn this circuit as much as possible. There we go. Brake now before the big water splash. That is more like it. There we go, Bone Shaker. Learning the circuit every single corner, one corner at a time, though. You can see that I've learned my way through this circuit a little bit. My confidence is building. I'm going faster and faster. Like, I don't even know what the point of racing with this thing online is. Because you just destroy everybody else by so much. It's it's honestly not even fun to race online with it. Like, there was nobody even close. How many people in this race can we actually DNF? Oh, there's going to be quite a few. Even just take a look at the best lap time. My best lap was, what, three seconds faster than anybody else? We just DNF three people from the race. I'm feeling super confident with this thing now. I really want to set some really good time. Why don't we start this challenge off with this? Can we be in the top 200 in the world with our bone shaker? Bone shaker, away we go. That is the guy we're going up against in a DeLorean. Are you kidding me? I don't think it should be that difficult for us to take down a DeLorean, but again, this is one of those circuits that I've never actually driven before, so bear with me as I try to learn it for the first time. And in we go, and we're already beating the DeLorean. How many laps is it going to take us to take down that thing? That is a cool, cool vehicle. But I think we should be a little bit quicker. I feel like we're going to have the advantage in the off-road grip. I think he's going to have the advantage in the on-road grip. I should be able to close in, but I'm not confident enough yet. I think I'm trying too hard to set this score. I think if I slow down, actually, I think I might get it. Let me try. Slow and steady is what's going to win this one. Break now. Braked a little too much again, but I think that's safer. Okay, then go wide and then in. Very nice. And then keep it going. That's what I need. Smooth lines. Very smooth lines. We don't need any try-hardy lines or anything like that. Just take it slow and steady. And the bone shaker's just gonna do all of the work for me. Finish line just up here. I called it. I knew I was taking it way too fast. That is a top 200 in the world. Let's go. That's nearly top 100 in the world. That is sick. Okay. Why don't I try to go for top 100 in the world? For attempt number two, we are racing a little Mazda MX-5. Okay, so again, this shouldn't be the most difficult thing to take down. I've just got to be really, really smooth with my bone shaker. Really got to focus on those racing lines. You can see what I mean. We're already in front of that MX-5. I've just got to drive clean. That's all. Brake now. Handbrake. Whoa. Too wide. Too wide there, buddy. I'm still in front of the MX-5. Whoa. Too wide there again. Whoa. I'm getting super lucky with the way these bounces are landing me right now. There's the MX-5. Go. Go. This is close. I think the MX-5 is going to have the advantage on the road. I don't have the grip. I really don't have the grip on the road. Oh, man. He's even going for cheesy checkpoints. Okay. Okay. I see how we're going to play this. Give me a couple of attempts and we got this. No. I might have dirtied that lap, but I absolutely destroyed the MX-5 behind. All we got to do, clean that up. Do not smash into the wall. And we got this. No 
problem at all, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God, that is the opening that I want. There we go. Oh, understeer, hold it nicely. Don't hit the wall. Very good, very good. No getting messed up here by a bounce. Very good, it's slow, but it is smooth. And turn in before the jump. Very good, hold it through the right. Don't hit the wall again. Keep it going. We're looking good. We're looking good. It's not fast. It's not fast. But I'm getting through the corners. I hate this game. We're looking beautiful right now, Bone Shaker. Are you having a laugh? What is going on? I've never been so angry in my life before. At a virtual wall. Please, we're going faster again. The oh, We're just getting better and better at the opening. <laughs> okay, do not bottle. Do not bottle. That corner is about to be the definition of very, very slow. Are you ready? Are you ready to witness the slowest corner exit in the history? of corner exits. I didn't hit it that time. Corner exit was in fact a bit too slow. No! No, 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 I've got the speed. I've got the speed. I've got the speed. Yes! <laughs> what sucks is I could have beat that time by so much more. I just hate the wall. When I selected the top 100th guy in the world, it was actually the top 100th guy in the world. Nathan went and did some stream sniping. I do not appreciate that, Sunshine. How did somebody do a 108 in the same car? I don't actually want to try to set another rival's time. I just want to see where this lap is. Let's see where this guy actually makes up his time. So... Takes a similar line to the way I did for corner one. Dipped off-road to get the braking in. Runs it super, super wide there. Then cuts back in. So this is all the same. He's just doing it smoother than I was. Okay. Then he comes all the way up here. Breaks in a straight line. I like that strategy. Then I want to see, does he handbrake it here and initiate really early? No, he runs it wide through that corner. I would imagine he's keeping all four wheels on the ground for longer. And then basically other than that, it's just cheesing these checkpoints and extending the line. What an amazing lap from that guy. I mean, I'm not, I know I'm not gonna beat him. I'm going up against my personal best right now, but I can use his ghost to show me where to go. That's crazy the way he takes these. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm keeping up actually pretty nicely. I wonder if I will get a new personal best. There we go. There we go. Are we faster? Are we faster? I think I went a little quicker. A 109.7. Is that a new personal best? Did I actually just put in a ridiculous lap time? It didn't even feel that fast because I was following that guy. <laughs> No way! No way! I'm top 30 in the world! <laughs> that is ridiculous! A loser! <laughs> it, it's not even the pure speed that blows me away with this thing. It's just how easy it is to drive. Seriously, anybody can put in a lap time like I just did. Bone Shaker, you might not be as OP as you were in Forza Horizon 4. I don't think this thing is actually going to get banned in this game, but it's still mind-blowingly quick.